What's up everybody, it's your boy Triple OG back again. We're doing something different. I'm moving around. You can see my terribly messy comic book collection. Probably gonna have to fix that if I'm gonna stay here. Got a new mic in the works, seeing how that all works out for today. So gonna break into one of those shoe reviews I was telling you about last week. It's Monday again, you know, Monday's the day that I do my thing. So up first, we're gonna have Nike Air Force One Low Retro. You can see this. I picked these up from Totolo in Switzerland. It's fast shipping. Uh, there's no price tag on these, just your usual pertinence, size, colorway, all that stuff. So getting into them, it's a regular Nike Air Force One box. Nothing super special about it. Open it up, brown top, my receipts and paperwork from Totolo. They send a thank you card. You can see it here, see it there. I don't know what this has to do with anything, but it's all right. It's cool. So you get the you get the kind of standard Air Force One paper with uh, with the little stars imprinted all over it. Nothing nothing too crazy about it. Now I think this shoe originally came out in like 2005, and I wanted it back then. wasn't able to get my hands on it, and so when I saw these coming back out, I knew I had to have them. It was a crazy thing because where I'm at. They should have released at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I jumped on the website about 10 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock at night to see what was going on, and they were all there. So these are your shoes, man. It's a great Easter colorway. I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on this this year. They uh, they didn't release them until after Easter. I don't know why you would do that. It's perfect for the occasion. So getting into this, it's a really nice shoe, but my biggest concern about it is was the Air Force Ones. You know, the toe box, it creases the hell out of the toe box. First, second time you wear forces, they're wrecked unless you got a shoe protector in there or something. So we've got these going. This, this entire upper is made out of patent leather. So I have to imagine if I'm going by what happens with the 11s, this, these things are just going to get creased all to hell super quick. So I don't know if, if, the, if the force shields are the answer for it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how you keep these crispy. I got two pairs, though. So, you know, one to rock, one to stock, I guess. The, the colors on this, Titanium, Lemon Ice, and Storm Pink. So this is going to be your Titanium, Lemon Ice, Storm Pink. And I don't know what this purple is because it's not on the box. It's not listed any place. It's a nice purple, though. You got the, the usual right, white rubber midsole. And then on the bottom here, you've got like a pastel blue outsole. Come across the front here with the Lemon Ice. There's also the uh, Lemon Ice swoosh there. Normal going up the tongue, the tag at the top of the tongue there. You've got the broken eggshell with uh, with the Nike logo in it. Across the back, you go in and it's kind of a it's kind of a bluish color. It's not it's not patent leather. It's a it's a matte finish. It's like a just a regular leather on there. It's a bluish color. You can see that there. Getting to the inside of the shoe, you can see. Sorry about the couple of random hairs in there. I took them out at the barber shop for people to look at. So you've got the broken eggshell with the with the Nike swoosh in there. It looks really nice. This is a this is a uh, this is a great shoe. You also have the uh, the pink stitching coming across the midsole there, connecting the mid to the upper. I like it. It's got a uh, if you can see it. I don't know how well you can, uh, you can see that pretty good uh, on the swoosh here. You've got the lemon ice swoosh, but then you've got like a gold metallic underlay going around the whole thing. So that looks really nice. It's a really nice shoe. Uh, I'm glad to have it in the collection. You got the lemon ice air going down the sole there. I know this seems a bit disconjointed. You know, I don't, I don't get a whole lot of forces on here to do. So I'm trying to work with this whole new setup, figure out how things are working. Uh, I think you guys can see better. I, I hope you guys can see better. This also comes in the insole of the other shoe, that sticker there. Kind of like a sticker for the Adidas, different things you got going on there. cannot get the insole out so anyway these are the Easter Air Force ones released from Totolo over in uh, over across the pond in Europe I hope you guys like them like share subscribe do all that stuff that you always do I, I got more videos coming we're gonna be doing it I've got the uh, I've got the 420 dunks I've got the R2 NMDs coming Hard saying what the hell else is going to show up. You know, there's a big weekend coming up next weekend. The Yeezy's coming out. Russell Westbrook 31's coming out. Nike Indestruct's coming out. Everything seems to be coming out next week. This month is almost as bad as last December when, when shoes were just dropping everywhere as fast as you could possibly hope to see them. So I'm Triple OG. I'm going to keep doing what I do. You keep doing what you do. Sneakerheads, stay up.